The choices we make extend all the way down to the bare essentials, including the way we deal with our waste. Sometimes harsh chemicals are used to treat sewage, but in a trailer park on Vancouver Island, they use flowers. We're on our way to Vancouver Island. It's an hour and a half from Vancouver to Nanaimo, and then a 40 minute drive into the wilderness. We're going to Arrington, BC to show you a mix of nature and technology that saved a community from a sewage nightmare. The problem was here in this remote trailer park. The septic field had failed. Architect and wastewater systems designer Kim Rink was hired to solve this stinky problem. Puddles of raw sewage had percolated to the surface and every once in a while they'd come and fill it over top of it. That was the solution, keep covering it. And uh, the woman that lived in the uh, trailer behind here, she used to cry at night because the stench in the trailer park was so bad. So that was one of the social effects of this. It was pretty clear that they needed to do some advanced treatment. Kim's first step, water conservation. He had to reduce the amount of wastewater coming into the system. We set up a partnership with uh, BC Hydro. They would go into homes and retrofit the toilet flushing devices and the aeration on the faucets and the shower heads. It's quite uh, miraculous, you know, two days of work and you've got suddenly 40% less flow. It's all about uh, managing the demand for water and then the eventual production of sewage can be reduced. Then, using existing tanks and pump stations, Kim designed and built a climate-controlled greenhouse that duplicates the way nature purifies, with man-made streams and marshes. Raw sewage comes into the greenhouse, and it's bubble aerated. That eliminates odor and suspends the solids so that they're easier to break down biologically. The sewage flows through pipes to a series of solar tanks, partitioned to mimic slow-moving streams, each supporting aquatic plants that grow and multiply gobbling up organic waste as fertilizer. These plants are water hyacinth. They're the most common water plant probably on the planet. We grow them because they have a good surface area and they suck up a lot of nutrients. I just wanted to show you some of the root systems and of course we've let these go too long. And I don't want to splatter anybody but that's the kind of thing you can get out. Now there's a bit of a smell coming off that because that that's raw sewage. This is where you can see how the root mass actually gathers up sludges. That's the icky part of things and allows the bacteria to work on it. If we could see into the tank, we'd see snails and zooplankton munching away. We'd see air bubbling, feeding the roots oxygen and slowly mixing the solid bits so they easily attach to the roots, act as fertilizer, and help the plants grow. They just propagate like, like rabbits. It's perfect food for them. And I, myself, am not good at raising plants. <laughs> I tend to kill them. But in this medium, all we do is basically harvest. Um, plants stay healthy. They have all the food they want. Uh, they're in a nice, moist, tropical environment. You can feel what it's like in here today. Um, they just love it. The sewage continues its journey from tank to tank, the water getting cleaner and cleaner. By the time we get to this end, we've, I don't know if you can see it, but we've shut our air down quite a bit because we don't need as much. There's not as much food, the water's cleaner. Um, we put parrot feather down here because it's, it's good at taking up any chemical that might be in the water. We are now entering what we call the clarification stage. Inside the tank, the bacteria no longer have much to eat. Some are settled out as sludge and return to the front blending tank where they start all over again. Some die. And the water lettuce is here to absorb the odor of the dead bacteria. Every two weeks or so, there'll be a little baby shoot off. And that one's got a little colony of probably six or seven plants. At this point, the wastewater is circulated through sand and an aggregate marsh, where root systems of tropical and native plants destroy harmful bacteria. The water is now clean enough to be reused for irrigation. The 46 families living in this trailer park each produce something like a thousand liters, that's 250 gallons of waste a day. With this system, that waste is converted to fertilizer. It's environmentally friendly and affordable for small communities.
we're really trying for something that can fit into any community that we can actually use uh, these technologies all over the world. If we don't deal with our own waste as a first priority, um, all the gadgets in the world with new energy and with tighter buildings, it still doesn't deal with our interface with the environment. It's a pretty amazing thing that we can tap into nature and see, see that liquid waste coming in, see it turned into beautiful flowers, beautiful materials, essential materials, and any, anywhere in the planet, whatever the material is that you need, this stuff will grow it.